Hi, I'm Paul Block, and this is the Block Sharpener. My family have been making these sharpeners now over 45 years. We are the original designers of these style sharpeners. This is what makes my sharpener different than everyone else's. They're made to flex, so they follow the original bevel on a blade. They don't tear into the steel or change your angles. That's important when you buy very expensive knives. You want to keep the original bevels. Well, today I'm here to show you a couple techniques I'm using to get razor sharp. Um, I do get that question quite a bit on some of my other videos. How are you getting them that sharp? I'm going to show you all my little tricks. Whenever you have a smooth edge, if it's extremely dull, it can be tough. What you want to do, well, let me start from the beginning. If they're in decent shape, when you draw through, the rods are going to pick up. See how they're flexing? They pick up on the original bevel. Puts the original edge up as sharp as it can get without tearing the steel out of the blade. Working much like a professional chef's steel. Okay, now if they're really, really dull and you're not getting it sharp, what you want to do is put it right up against one pin and then you dig in hard. What this does, it takes it all off of one side. It's actually taking little shavings if you do that way. Then you'll do the same number on the other side. Here, how hard it's hitting. So then, once you do it on both sides, you start putting a new V in the blade at a 22 degree angle, which most American knives are made at. So then, you'll squeeze it in there tight, make them move real hard, and start low. Come low, as you get sharper, you'll feel it, start bringing the back of the knife up. Razor sharp is up real high when you're going for that razor sharp. And you do want to keep some kind of oil on the pen, rather it be honing oil, cooking oil, gun oil, peanut oil. And um, just bring the back of the knife up and you should be able to restore them back into shaving sharp. If you want to even go a little bit sharper, you take an old leather belt, use the rough side of your leather belt, and what I'm doing, you'll see it in a lot of my videos, I'm strapping. You just feel for it, get the friction going, tip it to about your desired angle on the edge, then bring it the other direction. And you do that back and forth a few times, and that's what will bring them up in the arm shaving sharp. And uh, that's the only tricks to the block sharpener. Real doll, do an X, bring it down the middle, strap them when you're done, you should be able to get razor, razor sharp back. I do very, very hard steels. I'm doing Damascus, I'm doing military, German, stainless steels, hatchet heads. These pins rock well at 69. They're very, very hard to wear down. And with the flex, you can grab many different angles. Draw your blades through there. And you can hear the difference from a softer to the harder steels when you draw through there. And uh, you got good steel, you will get it very sharp. They pick up on any edge. I'm doing crazy stuff like lawnmower blades. This side's flat, this side's beveled. So you hold the flat side nice and tight down to keep the flat side flat. And your angle's going to pick up more on a sideways, rather like a knife comes through the middle. Same thing with Tonto blades. You'll catch your angle coming through sideways. And uh, it could take you maybe about three to five minutes. And well, you will get them very, very, very sharp. Here we go. There it is. One more time. Anyway, when it comes to a serrated knife, this is where we got every sharpener beat. It'll do any serrated knife you can possibly find. I promise you it will not eat up the teeth. It will not destroy them. I've done every time possible. Go to some of my other videos. You'll see me doing it. All you're doing is rolling them in the middle. Rock it like a boat. You get one side of the tooth coming in, the back on the way out. Make it vibrate. Keep one pin off the, one of the rods off the floor or off the table. You rock them serrates through there, you'll get any serrated knife you got like a razor blade. I've done steak knives, bread knives, electric knives, ginsus, um, microtech, spider coats, bench maids. There ain't a serrated knife I haven't done. It works on any serrated knife, something nobody else does. Uh, you got any other questions? Well, here, scissors. Another very popular thing. Scissors, garden clippers, they all carry the same kind of edge, basically. Use the side of one of my cutting rods. 
you got the thumb guide right here to give you guidance follow the edge that breaks it down you'll see them getting shiny turn them you'll develop a little burr right on the inside corner hold that nice and tight push the burr off what you're doing is squaring that edge and once you square them corners they're gonna get sharp just like any well, just like a knife it's a great pickup on that. I'm finding a lot of people use them for scissors and stuff like that. They really do like them. We are 100% American made. We offer a lifetime guarantee. We even put our last name on our handle. Block Knife Sharpener. You can go to the blocksharpener.com if you'd like to order one. Or um, if you got any questions, just give us a holler anytime and we'll get back with you as soon as possible. Um, I sharpen pretty much anything that has a cutting edge as long as there's some edge left to it. Thank you.